Hello friends, and uh, I'm going to try to show you now how to make this. This is a tree, pixel tree, 16 by 50. These are singing faces. And I'll show you how I got those are the different mouth positions. And now I'm putting effects over the top of it, which makes it look like he's sweating. Eyes blinking. But I'll show you how I got from this. From all these motion effects rows. And I'll do that right now by going into stop. First thing we wanted to do was I wanted to create a new preview. Okay, so I hit the plus, which comes up over here, and I always enlarge it to the large size, give it a name. I'll call it I'll call it tree. Um, I'll call it tree two because I already have one that's created with all this good stuff on it. And then I go to the add. And then I come over here to create a new prop, open that up. And then what it does is it gives me all these props. So what I'm going to choose is tree 90. I'm going to have 16 strands, actual strings, 50 lights or 50 pixels per string. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the top right here. It's called turn, turn cute cone. I think that's our turn cute cone or however the hell you say that I'm I'm a dummy um, <laughs> two three I'm gonna put that on three and then I'm gonna say oh I gotta name it too so I'll just call it 16 by 50 I'll just call it 1650 where's my numbers at one six five zero I think that's what I got yeah one six five zero and then when I save it oh gosh forgot don't forget come over here and change it from traditional lights to RGB Otherwise, it'll tell you. So when you say save, this is the prop you now have. And you can size it up any way you want to match your, uh, your setup. So the way to create the animation you saw at first is you have to go into the prop by going up here. Um, I double click on that. You can also double click on the prop. Now, when you come back to here, all your information is over here for each string and you got all those goodies, you'll have to personalize that. Come over here to this right here. RGB pixel motion effects rows. We'll click on that. And as you can see, there's no motion effects rows. So what I do here is I'll say add. Okay. When you add, you get this right here. Now, these are the pixels. They're just not in a cone shape. These are the pixels. It's There's 16 rows going down and 50 pixels total from the top to the bottom so i guess it's 16 across 50 down but those are your pixels so to create the singing tree what i did was i over here i select under this subsection custom if you notice they all just turned off so what I do is I, I divide this up into three sections. I go down here 17, go across, and then of course, as you can see, I'm holding the left mouse button. That's over here, the drawing tools. So it's on the drawing tool. If you hold the right, excuse me, if you hold the left mouse button, you will fill in the pixels that you want to light up. So if you use this guy here, it'll erase them. That's just basic simple stuff. So that's how I create the effects rows and the custom effects rows. And so what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to cancel this, cancel this, cancel this. Are you sure? Yes, I want to cancel. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you uh, additional. Okay. I'm going to go in and show you what I've already created. Now, here is the prop. If I click on it, it goes right back to where we were just a second ago, the 90 tree. But over here, if you notice, I have 16 motion effects rows. So what I'll do is I'll open those up. And as you can see, I've got already got the top quarter, excuse me, top third lit up. And I have two rows, motion effects rows for the top third. Then if I, I'll back up a little bit. Maybe you can see it all in this. Yeah, so now the center section or the center third is lit up. I've got that as number two. 
same thing here. And then the third is the bottom third. Now what I do is I divide the singing face up into two sections. And I only use the bottom two thirds. The center section is going to be for the eyes. So that's the eyes. So when the green lights up on this motion effects row, this is what you get. That's eyes opened, that's eyes closed. But then inside the eye area here, I want to color it in with some color with white. So I have this port, this one, I light that motion effect row up in white. And that gives it an effect of the white of the eyes. And then these, these are dark, so it looks like pupils. Then I go and I do the mouth movements. And the mouth movements will be on the bottom third, which is that's A or open all the way. That's middle open. This is open very little, and that's the O, and then I add a smile. So what I have here is I have top, bottom, excuse me, top, middle, bottom section, divided into thirds, then the mouth open, mouth in the middle, mouth still open, but oh, then you have the O, and then the smile. And then of course in the middle section you have the eyes open, eyes closed, and the coloring on the inside of the eyes. And then I have two rows for just pixel effects for the whole tree. So anything I wanna put on the whole tree, as you notice, all of those pixels are lit up. So, I'm cancel this, cancel, cancel all of this, go back into this sequence. As you look into the sequence, what we have here is exactly what you saw. These are all my motion effects rows. The, this section here is the, you know, it says tree 1A, 1A. There's two rows of that. That's two motion effects rows. And right now, as it sits, the top section, as you can see, is the green. Then we come down here to this. This is the smile. So the bottom section will turn on with the smile. And then you have the middle section with the eyes and then that's the whites of the eyes. And over here, that's what all of these go to. So if you notice, I have, from the beginning, I have eyes open, lit up. That would be the center section. And then I have, let's see, eyes open. And then I have nothing for the eyes closed because that effect's not working. And then I have the color, which is the center section of the eye. That's what I, eyes color. And then at the very top up here is the top part of the tree. And then you have the bottom section, which is the smile. So you have a whole tree. When played, you will see the whole entire tree with a smile. And then at this point here in the sequence, right here where my mouse is bouncing up and down, it changes from a smile to the mouth all the way open, or I'm, I've labeled it as A. And then this part of the sequence, it shuts a little bit. And then this part of the sequence over here, it shuts a little bit more. So from the beginning, uh, let's see. I got two screens, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all on there. But this is what it looks like from the beginning. You got a smile, then the mouth goes open, then it closes a little bit, then it closes a little bit more, then you get the O, and then you go back to a smile. And in the meantime, I put some effects over the top of it, as you can see. The it looks like it's those are meteors. Then I do a fade effect here. And then I do another fade effect into a whole tree effect. And then that, that runs for a bit. And then I'm gonna do another fade here. And it's gonna fade back into the green. And then from here, the face is gonna come back in a fade. And at that point, that's all I've done to just kind of show the example of how it works. So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about the fading effects. I'll have to do something on that, but it's really just a dissolve effect. You fade one, you fade one uh, motion effect out, which would be this one. That's the spinning, as you can see. Now it's spinning by itself, but to get the spinning to happen, I come over here. As you can see up at the top here, we have the tree, top part, middle part it's all green oops i guess i'm down i'm down a little too much so if you can see the tree and you can see the effect i'll start from this location right here and i'll hit the play 
And what'll happen is, is you'll see the tree. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Uh, it started back from the beginning. Let's try it again right here. I think this is the, uh, yes. So I hit the space bar. Okay, here we go. If you watch the effects up at the top, and the bottom the bottom one's fading in, that's the swirl, and then the top one fades out. So the tree green fades away and the swirl comes in. And as you can see, we're coming up to the next effects change. So the green comes back in and the swirling goes out. And then now the face will come back in and the green will fade out. And that's how we get all of those motion effects. I just put this little thing together here to, you know, maybe help somebody understand that doesn't know a whole lot about motion effects rows, how they work. But over, over here, and I'll do this last deal, I've got five different face um, placements. And basically it says A, E, and ETC. It's basically opened fully, opened in the middle, opened less, and then the O, and then a smile. So it's five different positions I use. I'm still trying to find out what the mouth positions are on the basic five channel um, singing face that's out there. Because if I showed you one of mine, I actually use um, 11 different motion row effects for the mouth positions. 10 different mouth positions with some tongue, with one additional tongue uh, effect so that when they do like the L and the R's, the, the tongue comes in and looks red. So this is what I've done. Uh, I hope this maybe helps somebody out there. Good luck. And if you got any questions, um, you can just PM me um, on the Lightorama forums and I'll, I'll answer them if I can. Y'all be well.